a warm greeting. Today is Saturday, September 2, 2023. I'm meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 6.45 in the evening, local time in the Caribbean, where we are closely monitoring what is now Invest 95. Invest 95 is associated with the strong tropical wave we are currently monitoring, located just south of the Cape Verde Islands. This disturbance has a high probability of becoming a tropical depression as it moves west-northwest over the next seven days. In this video, I will provide an update on the forecast and analyze the global model runs, as today we have two possible scenarios. The first scenario is where Invest 95 remains weaker than previously forecasted and could reach the Caribbean region. The other scenario is where Invest 95 strengthens a bit more and moves northeast of the Caribbean, possibly at a safe distance from the eastern Caribbean islands. If we zoom in on the region where Invest 95 is located, we can clearly see the rotation associated with this tropical wave. At least during today, we have not seen significant organization, primarily due to the eastward wind shear affecting the disturbance. This wind shear is expected to persist in the region at least until Tuesday. However, as it moves west-northwest, better conditions for cyclonic organization are expected from Tuesday to Thursday. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center maintains a 70% probability of a tropical depression developing east of the Lesser Antilles. Additionally, since this tropical wave was designated as Invest 95, we now have some specialized intensity and track model runs. Here's the first track forecast. Note that a west-northwestward movement is generally forecasted for the next five days. Currently, the consensus is that Invest 95 could pass very close to or over the northeastern Caribbean region next weekend as Tropical Storm Lee or possibly Hurricane Lee. Please remember that these models will change over the next few days, which is normal, especially for disturbances that have not yet become cyclones. We will calmly monitor its west-northwestward trajectory for several days and see how this forecast evolves. In terms of intensity, the initial models keep it as a tropical wave for at least the next two to three days. Starting on Tuesday or Wednesday, it may begin to strengthen, possibly becoming a tropical storm. When approaching the Caribbean region, preliminary models indicate it could arrive as a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane. Like the track forecast, the intensity forecast is also expected to change significantly over the next few days as the system gains organization. Now let's look at the latest global model runs. Here's the American model, the GFS. In today's afternoon run, it keeps Invest 95 relatively weak at least until next Thursday when it finally develops into a tropical depression east of the Caribbean. In recent runs, the GFS model has consistently predicted a slower organization of Invest 95, primarily due to the model now forecasting some northeast wind shear impacting the disturbance as it moves through that region. However, as I mentioned this morning, conditions are expected to become much more favorable for strengthening when it approaches or passes over the northeastern Caribbean. Therefore, the GFS model strengthens this system into a tropical storm, reaching the Lesser Antilles by Friday night, then passing near or over Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic between Saturday and Sunday. In the latest projections, the good news is that it depicts a weaker tropical storm than previously forecasted. Please remember that the GFS model has been quite inconsistent in recent days, so we have many doubts about this forecast. Now let's look at the European model's forecast. Unlike the GFS model, the European model predicts that we may already have a tropical depression developing by Tuesday or Wednesday, possibly near 40 degrees west longitude. Therefore, this model consistently forecasts that it should pass northeast of the Caribbean at a relatively safe distance over the weekend. Additionally, the European model continues to predict that conditions will lead to significant strengthening as it approaches the northeastern Caribbean. Unlike the GFS model, the European model has been very consistent with this forecast. It has also performed better than the American model this season, so most meteorologists are currently placing more trust in the European model's forecast than the GFS models. Similarly, we have the German model, which also predicts a northeastward track toward the Caribbean. Remember that this is also a good model. However, we have other models like the Canadian model, which has a forecast similar to the American model, with a much weaker disturbance passing as a tropical depression or tropical storm through the northeastern Caribbean over the weekend. Keep in mind that the Canadian model forecasts are not very accurate. We clearly see two possible scenarios. The most likely one is a west-northwestward trajectory passing just northeast of the Caribbean over the next weekend, as forecasted by the European models. The other scenario involves a more westward trajectory that could bring this disturbance over the Caribbean during the weekend, as shown by the American models. We will be closely comparing these scenarios over the next few days to determine which model provides a better forecast for Invest 95. These scenarios can also be observed in the ensemble members of the GFS model, 
where most of the members maintain a trajectory near or over the northeastern Caribbean as a tropical storm. When we compare them with the ensemble members of the European model, you can see that all of them follow a much more northwesterly trajectory. They also indicate a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane when passing through this region. So, there is a significant difference between what the European model suggests, with this disturbance passing well northeast of the Caribbean, while the American model has trajectories much further south. These are the two scenarios we will be comparing over the next few days to determine which model has a better forecast for Invest 95. Something we will be closely watching is that on Monday, when this tropical wave is near 30 degrees west longitude, the European and American models have two very different forecasts. For example, the European model depicts a well-defined tropical wave with good vorticity on Monday morning, while the GFS model shows a much weaker disturbance. By Monday morning, we will be able to compare these two forecasts and have a clear idea of which model is better predicting the future of Invest 95. That's all for this video. The important thing is for residents of the Eastern and Northeastern Caribbean to remain attentive to this tropical wave. However, there is no reason to worry at the moment, as there is still uncertainty, and it is quite distant. It will take 7-8 to eight days to approach the Caribbean. We will have many days to monitor it, and remember that forecast changes will continue to occur until we have a tropical depression formed. I hope everyone has an excellent evening. I will provide another update tomorrow morning. Goodbye for now.